Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. Last week, I shared how to draft two foundation-friendly duck blocks. This week, I'm going to show you an idea of how you could use them in a quilt. Start by opening the Ducky Quilt Project from last week. If you haven't done so, go back and create the blocks from that particular tutorial. If you view the project sketchbook and go to the blocks tab, you can see here are the four blocks that I created during last week's video. I'm going to close the project sketchbook and select design a quilt from scratch. Select a new quilt horizontal, select the layout tab and change the number of blocks to one by one and set the size of the block at 15 by 15. Select the Design tab and select Block Tools Open Library. Do a search by note card. Type in Goose in the Pond, and this must be exact, and select Search. And then select OK. At a minimum, you should have this first block. If you look at the note card, you can see this came from the EQ Library Classic Pieced 5 Patch. I'm going to go ahead and close that, select the block, and add to sketchbook and close. Now I'm going to, under Set Block, locate the block and place it in the quilt. Notice that the block is based on a 5x5 five five grid with 9 patches in some of those grids. The reason I chose 15 inches is if I take that 5 times 3, that would make it much easier to piece than any other size. Select Fabric Tools and use the spray can to color the block. Then select the Border tab. For the first border, change the size to a half inch. That will turn the center of our quilt from 15 to 16 inches, which will make it conducive to 4 inch blocks, which I plan to put in the next border. Then I'm going to add another border, and this time I'm going to use my duck blocks, so I'm going to set them at 4 inches. And I want a series of blocks. So I will select the style blocks and change the blocks in border to 4x4. Four four. Select Add, change the size to a half inch, and this will be a long horizontal. Select Add and make the next one a 2 inch long horizontal. And add a final border, make that mitered, and make the size a half inch. So the final quilt will be 30 by 30. Select the Design tab, and now under Block Tools, Set Block, locate the Mama Duck block, and starting with the second block on the top row of the border, click on every other space in the border. Select the Baby Duck block, and click on the remaining spaces in the block's border. Select Rotate, and using the Alt or Options key, click on one of the border blocks on the right. Then click on one of the border blocks on the bottom two times, and one of the border blocks on the left side three times. Without using the Alt or Options key, click on the corner blocks to individually adjust their placement. Select Fabric Tools and use the spray can to color each of the duck blocks with a different fabric. This will make it very conducive to using a charm pack in piecing each of the duck blocks. After recoloring the block, select a fabric for the borders. I did find a flaw in the fabric which is causing those black lines, and I will quickly show you how to fix that. If you view the project sketchbook and go to the Fabrics tab, locate the problematic fabric and select Copy to Photos. On the Photos tab, locate the fabric and 
Add it to the image work table. Select Crop and adjust the crop window to eliminate the back line. Make sure to do an Apply Crop and then Add as Fabric. Select the Quilt Work Table and now right click on the first image and select Delete followed by Yes. Then locate the new fabric which is at the end and use it to color the borders as desired. Use some additional fabrics to color the remaining borders. And I will hide show quilt patch lines and add to project sketchbook. For a different option, I decided to replace the cantaloupe fabric with a blue. Select Add to Project Sketchbook. I'm curious which one you will prefer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quilt layout. As you can see, it would be very versatile with a number of different blocks, and I look forward to seeing how you choose to use it. If you are ready for a deeper dive into Electric Quilt, check out the TechnoQuilter membership. Each month you will receive a new class which provides a deeper dive on individual topics within Electric Quilt. Or if you're just getting started, check out my intro class, Shoot for the Stars with EQ8.